So you will find, uh, except the QGIS uh, executable, you will find two folders. Uh, the first one is uh, Carona Winter School. And uh, Carona is the name of a river basin that we uh, consider as a test case for the World Summer School. And so uh, everything we show will be related to this river basin. And so we will do the geomorphological analysis, the, one, the things that we do today. Then tomorrow we will do the interpolation of the precipitation for this river basin. Uh, the day, uh, the next, the early next week, we will do potential vapor transpiration uh, computation, energy balance computation. It means short wave and long wave radiation. And finally, we will uh, compute the uh, discharge. So we will apply a rainfall runoff model. Uh, and everything is uh, done uh, in this uh, river basin, which is Kavona. Why we choose this? Uh, mm, because it's uh, small, uh, it's quick to run, and it's good for uh, running uh, simulation uh, very quickly. Then you can use in parallel your own uh, uh, your own river basin if you want to apply the same things uh, to uh, your. Uh, Uh, so, I hope. Sì, se avete una chiave di poteva passare, se no, se potete far girare questo. If you, uh, how many of you has uh, an uh, own uh, digital elevation model that would like to try? Uh, on, on uh, hit our example. Do you have, do you all have one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, no, you just need a, a dot ashi file uh, or dot geotiff yeah, and whatever you want, whatever you have. Yeah. Uh, for the people that doesn't have, we can provide some, but this. Um, I would like to do a, a snowboard or equivalent. Uh, I okay. So this probably could be done at the end of the week because the, this this basin has no snow, but we can uh, we can see how to set it up. Uh, um, a snow sim file for you. I already tried. So ah, so you are almost there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's it's more about the calibration. Working ah, so we, uh, uh, I can have a look to your yeah. uh, script later, yeah. but this is, uh, uh, so it's an advanced step. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, okay. Uh, so if you don't have, we can provide some digital relation models for you. Uh, but you should uh, tell us how many we need. You mean digital elevation? It's a shape file of one digital elevation model, DEM? DEM or whatever, wherever. Uh, whatever area you like. Okay. Yes. Uh, actually, the raster map. Now I will show you. Uh, okay. So, uh, in the meanwhile, that the the things uh, is uh, sharing. Uh, probably to be fast. Uh, okay. It's fine. Uh, I'll show you what uh, I mean by this. So. The, the starting point is uh, of today, of course, is uh, this. And usually, uh, you find a digital relation model, and the format is like this, for example. So you see, it's not a shape file; it's a raster map, because a shape file is a vectorial uh, format, whereas uh, uh, um, the ASCII map are raster format. Uh, so, uh, if you open it with any editor, uh, text editor, you will find uh, an header, which are the first uh, uh, six uh, row, yeah. and uh, some values. So, the first uh, first row uh, uh, means the number of columns your shape, uh, your raster map has, uh, the number of rows, uh, the low left uh, x coordinate, the low left corner x coordinate and uh, uh, low left corner uh, y coordinates 
uh, the cell size. So here you can see it's very big, uh, but you can use whatever resolution you want. Uh, and they know the data value. So it's pretty standard. This is an ASCII HG file. You can use a GeoTIFF as well, OK? Uh, be sure that uh, when you uh, have a, a raster map, usually is uh, very useful to have uh, also the projection uh, file, which is uh, uh, this projection file is uh, uh, .prj. So I don't know if you need this information. Probably most of you knows. Yes, uh, probably from some other no. Uh, so the the, PR, the PRJ show you the uh, coordinate reference system that you are uh, uh, that you are using. So it's a file that is uh, linked to the digital elevation model. Here we are using a UTM zone uh, 33 model. Quite simple. So this is uh, all uh, that you need for running the uh, exercise of today. PRJ, PRJ file, uh, not in that long, in planar coordinates, and uh, the visual elevation model. Uh, where this file is, is in the uh, OMS project, and it is, in the, it is located in the data folder. Then, as yesterday we had, we have a simulation folder where we, uh, which contains all the simulation files that we want to run. Yesterday we just tried one simulation file, like the one on Hello World, but today we will run uh, many simulation files. Uh, because uh, what we will do today is to compute for this basin, but you can see easily uh, and quickly that uh, changing the path to the input file, you can run the same simulation file for your own river basin, for your own uh, digital elevation model. And what we will do is to compute uh, all the maps that uh, Professor Ricardo shows before. So the uh, flow direction, the slopes, the aspects, uh, and, and so on. Uh, also the discovered distance and uh, uh, we will arrive to uh, having uh, a map of your basin split in different sub-basins. And this is important because uh, for each tomorrow, for each centroid of these sub-basins, we will uh, interpolate the rainfall and the air temperature and we will proceed uh, in this way. So I don't know how many of you has uh, uh, already done uh, copy and paste it the report, I think. Uh, if you have another uh, USB key on the back, you can share for you or whatever. Uh, those are the components. Uh, uh, so those are the jar files, but the jar files are for all the people. So for now we will use just the yeah, but those are the components. Those are the models. Okay. Each model may have different components. Yeah. For example, if you speak about uh, long, okay, I, I'll show you uh, what we were uh, talking just right now. If you open uh, the lib folder of your uh, uh, OMS um, project folder you find a lot of jar file uh, each of these jar file is a model and for example there is the uh, routing model the, uh, there is the uh, ATP the potential evapotranspiration model there is the uh, snow model uh, the water budget model and so on and you also have a, a long wave, a short wave radiation model. Uh, each of these models may contain uh, different components inside. Why? Because if, if you, uh, uh, for example, if you consider the, uh, the long wave radiation, 
you may have different formulation for the computation of the longer radiation. And this is why uh, in the jar file you see the model, but inside you find a different Uh, other important things uh, you find also the output folder, uh, and in this output uh, uh, you will uh, you will write your uh, uh, your output file, uh, and this is already done. Uh, so your output folder for now is empty, but uh, uh, as soon as we speak about uh, what we do and we run a simulation file. Uh, you will uh, fill it in. So are you all on the same page or not yet? Mm -hmm. uh, on the same page, it means you all of the five? Yes? yes. Uh, how many of you doesn't? OK, cool. Uh, OK, then the other folder is uh, uh, pretty useful, is the documentation. And for example, if you, we open uh, one of these, uh, you find uh, this uh, PDF. For example, the first one is a uh, filler. And uh, it is useful because uh, for each uh, command that we run, uh, we find information to uh, where uh, download the source code, for example, how to, com uh, to build uh, the project, and uh, um, a short description of the component that we are running. And uh, it is very uh, useful because it also shows an example of the simulation file that we will run. So here you find a detailed explanation of uh, what we are running uh, in the console, OK? It's just documentation. And you can find this for uh, all the programs, all the commands that uh, we run. So as you. As you can see from here, you can see that we can uh, we are going to compute uh, the aspect, the curvature, the drainage direction, the gradients, the uh, rescaled distance, the scale u factor, and so on. So this is the objective of the tool. Uh, finally, there is the QGIS. So the first things to do is to go on the, your console and you open your console. So everyone should uh, know how to do it. So uh, do you have the for do you have the folder of the do you have, have you all done with this or no? Yes. Uh, so the second thing I would do is to increase my font size. And then we select uh, we select uh, exactly the the, the Cavone uh, simulation uh, the, the Cavone project file. So we are here and we select Cavone uh, Winter School. Are you all here? Okay, if you do open you will see that a lot of stuff will be opening in your uh, directory, in your uh, on this console. If it doesn't happen, it's okay. If it happens, I would close all uh, and just open the first one, the first one, the first simulation that is uh, in geomorphology. Uh, okay, now. And you can run it in the manual that it runs. If you don't get any error, we will explain how to, run, how to do it. Uh, pit filler, the number one, they are numbered from one to, I don't know, the last one. But yes, you should just OK, have you get any error? Yes. Yes? How many? Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay, okay. M most of you has the same folder. Uh, is the same folder. Uh,